Wazbir, Union Home Minister Amit Shah is chairing a high-level meeting to review the security situation in Manipur. Give us more details, Wazbir. Yes, uh, Priya, even as we speak, Union Home Minister Amit Shah at this point in time is chairing a high-level meeting at the North Block in New Delhi. Present at that meeting is Army Chief General Manush Pandey, Army Chief Designate Lieutenant General Upendra Dwivedi, Union Home Secretary Ajay Bhalla, IB Chief Tapan Deka, Assam Rifles Director General Lieutenant General PC Nair, uh, Kuldeep Singh, the Security Advisor uh, to the Manipur Government. There is the GOC of the Tree Corps, HS Sahi, uh, there is the DGP of Manipur, the Chief Secretary of Manipur, Vineet Joshi, and uh, there are in the, the Home Secretary of Manipur and others. Now, this is a very, very high-level meeting where the Army Chief as well as the Army Chief designate both are present. The IB Chief, of course, is present. Union Home Secretary Ajay Bhalla is present. Besides, the Director General of the Assam Rifles, uh, Lieutenant General P. Sinair, is attending that meeting. Now, this meeting uh, is leading to a lot of speculation as to what could be the Union Government's uh, uh, next step as far as Manipur is concerned. The meeting comes in the wake of more than a year-long ethnic violence in Manipur between the Kukis and the majority Maites. Uh, that is between the Kukis who live in the hills and the Maites who live generally in the Imphal Valley. Now, more than 200 people have died in this ethnic violence uh, between the Kukis and the Maites that began on the 3rd of May in 2003. 60,000 people have been displaced. Uh, now, uh, there are a uh, lot of security forces Deployment. There is the army, there is the BSF and other paramilitary forces besides, of course, the Manipur police and the Manipur police commandos uh, who have been deployed uh, across uh, the hills and the valley in Manipur. Besides, uh, apart from that, uh, besides that, despite the presence of this large number of troops and the paramilitary forces, violence continues on and off at regular intervals. Uh, now, the latest uh, flashpoint has been is been Jiribam, a town on the border with Assam, where the situation went out beyond control. Uh, following Following the discovery of a body uh, belonging to a certain community uh, that was highly uh, uh, bore uh, clear signs of torture. Now, following the discovery of this body of a person belonging to a particular community, uh, uh, the, the, the things went out of control. The things became extremely volatile in Ziribam, uh, forcing the authorities to uh, fly in troops uh, from Imphal and other places, uh, additional troops from Imphal and other places. This is in this backdrop that this meeting has to be seen. Now, this meeting comes 24 hours after uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah held a meeting uh, that is yesterday with Manipur Governor Anusia Wike. Uh, the governor has since returned to Imphal and after this, this meeting. The nature of the people attending this meeting, starting from the Army Chief, the designate, Union Home Secretary and IB Chief and Assam Rifle DG, because the Assam Rifles is a big player as far as Manipur's security is concerned. Uh, now, Anna, we have to understand the backdrop in which this meeting is taking place. Now, uh, the BJP has lost uh, the two seats in the just concluded parliamentary elections. Uh, this can be reflected as a people's anger uh, for the government's failure to maintain law and order in the state for more than a year now. Now, 600 people displaced is not a matter of joke. Students' educational activities have been completely disrupted. Business have taken a hit uh, and, and general communication links have been snapped. People from the hills have to take the airport in Aizol, uh, uh, in Mizoram, which is 350 kilometers away, whereas the airport to, to uh, in Imphal is just about 80 to 90 kilometers away. So this is the kind of disruption, this violence in Manipur has taken place during the last one and a half year. Now, the Cookies delegation have already met Union Civil Aviation Minister and have asked for the establishment of a mini airport in the hills. So this is the nature of the, uh, uh, of the violence. This is the nature of the rift. The divide has been complete. The 10 elected representatives to the Manipur Assembly uh, including two ministers, have not been able to come to the Imphal Valley for more than a year now. They have not been attending uh, their offices in Imphal. They have not been attending the assembly sessions. So this is the scale of the disruptions. Now, what is this meeting expected to do? Hmm. Now, two things. The meeting may further tighten security, but the question will ask whether security has, uh, has not already been tightened enough because the government has set up a buffer zone between the cookies and the maites manned by central paramilitary forces and at times also by the army. Now, now there are allegations uh, leveled uh, by the by the certain sections in the state government as well as Métis organizations groups that it is largely.
largely uh, the cookies who are fighting the metes are to a great extent are illegal migrants from Myanmar there are reports circulating which we have not been able to confirm that there are uh, illegal migrants from Myanmar who are coming and setting up even new villages so that is something which the government has to clarify now in this in this backdrop and there has also been allegations that some of the rebel groups fighting the junta in Myanmar and and some of the rebel rebel groups some of the armed groups rather who are players in the conflict in Myanmar also may be engaged in some of the conflict uh, which the Manipur has witnessed in the last couple of months so this is something which the government of India has to ascertain and 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 see uh, now we are, we have got confirmed reports that 30 to 40 illegal migrants uh, from Myanmar have been deported uh, by the state authorities uh, in the last week or so so the, in this backdrop this meeting is being taking place and whether this meeting will also discuss the possibility of the of bringing the two sides together for talks uh, we have to wait and watch but it is going to be easier said than done to bring the two sides to the negotiating table that early Right, Vazbe. So, this is the first time that such a high-level need is being held on the situation in Manipur. So, clearly the MHA looks resolute that the centre won't let the Manipur situation linger. Absolutely. Uh, it appears that Modi 3.0 government has made up its mind to end the conflict in Manipur because it reflects very poorly on the government, whether it is the state government, whether it is the central government. Now, uh, it's immaterial as to who is pow in power at the government, but if a situation, if a violent situation continues in a state, that to a frontier state, mind you, uh, uh, you know, Priya, uh, Manipur is the only land link between the ASEAN nations and India. So, Manipur has a special significance in India's neighborhood first policy. Therefore, the the government would not like uh, uh, like to linger the violence anymore as far as Manipur is concerned because it will soon have international ramifications. Already the opposition have been uh, battering the government for citing the law, lack of law and order in Manipur. This, so this is one of the reasons perhaps why the, the ruling NDA has, uh, has lost both the seats, both the uh, parliamentary seats in Manipur could be one of the reasons. Now, now, in this backdrop, this meeting takes place. Now, it's a clear indication that the Modi 3.0 government, or for that matter, the Prime Minister himself, wants, uh, wants an immediate end to the violence in Manipur. How it comes about, we'll have to wait and watch.